Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle, the first designer of offshore spreader bars in 1991. From trolling baits like Ballyhoo to Joe Shoots trolling lures, gear up now for tuna, marlin, and mahi. Some hot and cold up and down fluke fishing throughout New Jersey, but August is typically when it gets best, especially up here in the North Jersey region. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here in Belmar just as some of the half day boats are coming in and by all accounts uh, just a terrific bite uh, since the storm uh, here in Belmar outside of Shark River. In fact, uh, Ramon Abusif, he shared this video of his first true doormat, 31 inches, 10.91 pounds. He caught just the other day on a Spro bucktail. So on the way down here, I check in with Bobby Matthews at the brand new Fisherman's Den. You got to come check it out. Um, he's telling me that, that the fluke fishing really did, quote, come alive right after the storm this week. Boats limiting it out, limiting out on fish up to nine pounds, checking with some of the folks who have gotten off some of these earlier trips today. They're doing quite well. Bobby as well says there's quite a few uh, throwbacks, there's quite a few action, a uh, bit of action in the river, but a lot of big fish are being taken right off the coast here. As a matter of fact, the folks from uh, WRAT, the rock radio station in New Jersey, just came in off the Golden Eagle, and now folks coming in off the Big Mohawk, and hopefully get in a second part of the afternoon for these fluke. Now, slowly, but surely, the Raritan Bay monsters are also starting to get active. Uh, we checked in with a Maijo who's had a couple of jumbos of late. And uh, I'm just wondering if some of the folks aren't being a little bit more tight-lipped now because of the JCAA fluke tournament coming up on Saturday. That's August 5th, nine ports throughout the state of New Jersey, 10 places in each one of those ports. Of course, you've got a $50,000 cash bounty for that big uh, Calcutta. Uh, that giant fluke, I believe that's over 13 pounds, a doormat Calcutta. There's also the 14-foot StarCraft boat with 20 horsepower Yamaha and Yacht Club trailer that's going to be given away. So if you want some details on that statewide JCAA tournament, go to jcaa.org and get in on that. Now farther in South Jersey, David Absekin Bay, he says the shed is on. You can expect that late summer blitz on those spike weak fish. If more of those sheds start happening, you start thinking about bucktails tipped with shedder crab. Personally, I love soaking squid strips in the shedder oil, that's finessence shedder oil. Put that on a bucktail on the bottom with a glass minnow on the top. Definitely an opportunity to get some of those fish. Uh, the Central and South Jersey shops to down through Delaware carrying doormat baits too, like those big Lafayettes, those big spots. My grandfather used to call them the Cape May goodies. 24-7 is loaded with these live spots. Could be a perfect bait for getting some of those doormats this weekend down in South Jersey. Inlets, uh, deeper holes, incoming water. As things have warmed up a little bit, those big fluke are getting into some of the deeper water. On the ocean, the lumps, bumps, and snags. Think old grounds on up through the tires. And of course, Ambrose Channel should be turning on as well. Now, some of this warmer tropical water is also bringing in some tropical visitors as well. Matthew Sheehan, he checked in with us this week, said he had a nice little cobia on Great Bay. He was using a fluke rig with a big old minnow is what Matthew told me. Uh, don't forget, like Matthew did, you have got that opportunity to share your photos and reports with us over at thefisherman.com. Thanks for, uh, for, for sharing that one with us, Matthew. Um, in addition to those inshore visitors like cobia triggers or the daytime kingfish and nighttime sharks along the beaches, uh, you want to definitely look towards the offshore grounds. Yellowfin bite has been getting pretty hot as well. Joseph Mitchell from Lacey Marine. He was out at 5, back at 1 p.m. earlier this week with some sushi. You'll have to check in with Joe over at Lacey Marine to find out the exact specifics. Again, nobody's really talking too much. Of course, last week I had the opportunity to get out with Captain Jimmy Zavacki of Real Determined out of Morrison's in Beach Haven. We made the, uh, made the trip up to the Hudson, the tip of the Hudson, and worked our way through the Hudson Canyon for some yellowfin. The one thing that we found out uh, Bill Tallman here had a nice 57.2 pound yellowfin tuna. Lots of life, dolphins all over the place. It took by the early afternoon when the squid sort of came up and we marked lots of fish, uh, had a lot of skippies, 
had some yellowfin, and again, working on those uh, schools of those pods of whales, working on the squid looks good. A lot of the offshore crews, of course, will be gunning for the seven figure payouts. This weekend down in Ocean City, Maryland, the White Marlin Open, that's going to be run from August 7th through the 11th. Um, one tournament captain, tournament winning captain that I know, Captain Freddie Gamboa, he's got a great article in the August edition on fishing for those big eye tuna. Now, Big Eye Tuna won seven figures in the White Marlin Open last year. So if you want to pick up our August edition of the Fisherman Magazine, check that out. Also, be sure, you subscribers, pay attention to that Dreamboat weigh stations, those Dreamboat weigh stations in that leaderboard. Right now, a minimum yellowfin tuna, 50 pounds, will put you in the contention. Mahi is just 10 pounds. And, of course, if you take a look at the Dreamboat leaderboard right now, for some reason, the New Yorkers are leading the charge on bluefish. And while we don't have big numbers of jumbo bluefish off the Jersey coast right now, some of the boats, like the Big Jamaica, are hitting the bluefish grounds and, and getting out there and getting on some of those bluefish on the jig and also on the chunk. Reminds me a little bit about of those old days. Subscribers, look for your weekly edition in the mail. Don't forget to weigh in those monsters at some of these participating Dreamboat stations, including Fisherman's Den here in Belmar. Pick up the details on the JCAA Fluke Tournament, and if you're fishing that tournament on Saturday, catch them up. Good luck. And again, we'll see you here next week at Fisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dreamboat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.